Back here at field level at Ravens Stadium, I'm Bobby Broyles, Brandon Noble here for 2019 CA Football Media Day Live, and we are here with the defending conference champs, the Maine Black Bears. Gentlemen, how are we doing here this morning? Enjoyed media day so far? So far, these guys are doing all right. Yeah? Yeah, I've been, I've been having a nice time here. I'm handling the questions all right? I'm doing pretty too, good. They haven't been too difficult, have they? No, not at okay. all. Well, just wait. They're going to get hard. Exactly. Now. Yeah. This, right. Is, right. Right. this isn't a puff piece. They ain't tell us that. They ain't tell us all that. Let's get it done. So, coach, first of all, congratulations. Uh, not just you know on the on becoming the head coach, winning the CAA last year, being part of that, and just you know talk about the transition now. You being the head guy. That's been great. A little busy, but sure. everything's yeah. everything's been pretty positive so far. So you know, luckily having a relationship with the guys and being in that room with them, it, it helps a lot. And having been recruited. Um, you know, for a number of years here, mm -hmm. I, I think it really helps the process along. So yep. it's been a lot of fun. It's a lot of off-field stuff as well, but you know, learning as you go, and and I think it's really been a great transition. You know, two years ago, I felt like you guys were really close, right? There was that kind of right on the edge of right. winning some games that you, you know, could go either way in, in the game yep. of football. And then last year, I mean, what a football season, yep. right? So what 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 do you think the biggest difference was from from the jump that was made there? And then how do you you can't replicate it, right? But how do you continue? How do you handle success? I think it's the, the culture in the locker room. You know, when you look at 2017 or 2016 or, you know, the couple of years that, that, that I've been here, we've always had talented players. Yeah. You know, and certainly last year, probably had a few more, which, which <laughs> definitely helps along. But it's the culture in the locker room. That's really what it was. And it's the leaders. It's the guys that are playing. And I just felt like it was very, very strong. I feel like it's very strong right now. We're very fortunate we have a lot of guys back. Yeah. But it's a different team. You know, yeah. 2017 was different than 2018. Same thing goes for right now. So it's a challenge, but it's the culture in the locker room. That's that's the biggest thing. So you haven't changed a whole lot. I mean, what's a little spin that maybe you put on it that, that, that's yours? Yeah, I mean, there's definitely some differences, you know, and there's some things that, that I like a lot as well. I thought we laid a good groundwork here, and we talk about the standard that we set. Mm -hmm. I think it's important to, to stick to some of those things, but one of our biggest things that we're talking about now is having pride in our program and, and discipline. Right. And I think that's really important to take that next step with what we want to do. You know, this is a big time division one program and we need to carry ourselves that way, but we need to be disciplined to, to take the next step. Right. And have a head coach with a beard. I mean, that's really what it is. I you know so. what I mean? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm probably just going to grow this thing yeah, out. So and try like, you know, Exactly. Yeah, I mean, we're from Maine now. One day. One day. ain't going nothing. Ern's been working on it. So. <laughs> Once again, we're joined on set by the Maine Black Bears, last year's conference champions. We're here with student athletes, Manny Patterson and Ernest Edwards. And Ernest, uh, uh, really a breakout year for you last year You're being recognized not just as a wide receiver right now but also as a you know as a return man just talk about what what are all the factors that came together for you to have such a great season last year um honestly I had just sat down and had a conversation with myself and just thought like what can I do to help myself become a better football player and help this football football team win games and I knew my first two years I was uh I play a little bit of receiver, but not much, but I was a kick return guy. So that was uh, one step, you know, special teams really helped me to be on the field. And my uh, junior year, I ended up starting as a receiver and I just took off from there. And what has been the transition like so far? I mean, obviously, you know, with the new coach, uh, what has this offseason been like maybe different than the past? Even though it's not a new, it's a new head coach, but he's been around. All right, uh, just giving my knowledge to the people who look up look up to me as in the younger wide receivers. Um, I know I'm the one of the leaders on the team now, so I know I got to do whatever I got to do to make sure everyone's out, everyone else straight before myself. And that's what it comes down to, uh, making sure everybody in this program, this organization, uh, is happy. Manny, talk a little bit about main defense. Right? I mean, there's a tradition there. That, 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 that you're supposed to be scared of those guys, mm -hmm. right? So talk a little bit about what, what that's like and what it's like to, to you know, what are you guys doing right now to, to continue that? Right now, we are, I want to say, the best defense in the conference. Um, you know, I love, I love my guys that's next to me. Linebackers, uh, front, uh, front line, safeties, everybody. I feel like we always come together, especially during this offseason. Extra works, uh, the stuff that people don't see behind the scenes, right. the stuff that even the coaches don't see. Hey, we're always working. We're always finding a way to get better. And I feel like that mentality is what led us to be the black hole that we are today. That grit, you know, every time I'm out there on the field, I always look, I look next to me, I see Deshaun, I see players like Taji Lowe, you know, they just always had this grit look on their face. And it's just like, yeah, like, if I'm out there with somebody, I want to be out there with these dudes right here. 
He's got the grit look right now. He does. I'm just ready to go, right? Yeah. He's about to start so I, playing. I, I, know. <laughs> I get a little into it. You exactly. see, you got to be exactly. Right? All hype. So. <laughs> I mean, coach, this black hole defense, eight returning starters. I and, mean, you know, the preseason all defensive CA conference list is impressive. Three linebackers on there. I mean, it, it's yeah. got to be excited. Can this defense, you know, it, is there a lot of pressure on this defense to be the same as last year with all the starters coming back? Or is the expectations even be better than last year, even though you're one of the best defenses in all of FCS? Right. I, I think it, it kind of goes back to 2018 versus 2019 and, and mm -hmm. being different. It's a lot of the same guys, but there's still going to be different players. There's going to be different coaches. And so it's got to be our black hole mentality, mm -hmm. but it's about who's playing at those positions. And, yep. you know, can we be better in 2018? Yeah, sure. No doubt about it. Yep. And, of course, that's the expectation. But I want this team to be this team. Mm -hmm. And with guys like Manny playing back there and people that have experience and great players, mm -hmm. you know, like Deshaun and other guys he mentioned, to me, it makes me feel comfortable with what we have going on over there and continuing that black hole legacy. Mm -hmm. You know, of course, you want to be the best defense in the country. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think as the, at the end of the day, it's going to be about the development of this team and through mm -hmm. training camp and then getting to play Sacred Heart here. We feel very confident on defense, yep. and I certainly do. And, and as an offensive guy, it's certainly a tough tough practice day at the office every time we go against them. Mm -hmm. But that's, that's what you want. You want a physical, uh, aggressive mentality for your defense. I feel like we have that. Yep. How has that helped you as an offensive guy, right, playing against that yeah. defense every day? I mean, playing against the best defense in the, the nation and practice every day, obviously it's going to elevate your game to a whole other level. So uh, that, just that competition every day, uh, knowing you're going against the best, it makes your confidence go up a whole nother level also. Well, in this, in this conference, there is so much great defense, right? This is exactly. A, this is an old school conference, right? Like I said, there, there's fullbacks, tight ends, oh, yeah. right? And great defense. And yeah. so, so how do you, I mean, how, how do you prepare for the grind of every week? You're going to have to go out and battle. Right. Uh, well, it starts in the, um, the summer, uh, really getting your body right, your mind right, um, writing down on a piece of paper, like your goals and everything you want to accomplish. Um, so it's just... I don't know, honestly, it just just the competition. What about some of the expectations for this offense? Ernest, a lot of guys coming back, right. but it's almost some receivers graduating. There's going to be a bit of a definitely a target or defense is, fo you know, that you're going to be the focal point of a lot of defensive meetings right. going into, you know, scouting reports this year. Uh, are, how are you getting yourself, yourself prepared for that? I mean, it's a no brainer. I'm pretty sure everybody in this conference uh, going to respect us now, or hopefully they do, but. Um, Going into last year, nobody nobody knew we was going to go as far as we did. Um, mm -hmm. Nobody had belief in us but ourselves and everybody else up, up north in Maine. Um, it's just, just the, honestly, I feel like the chemistry mm -hmm. uh, we have in the locker room, I feel like it's going to go a long way. If you want to be a great team, you got to have that, that bond and have great players. Uh, average team or a good team, just going to have great players, but not as, as much a good of a chem chemistry as a great team. Yep. So just the chemistry. We're going to change, change it up a little bit here, Manny. All right, here's the tough question. All right, All right, you ready? All right so I am getting very hungry right now. I missed breakfast. I've been up since 4 a.m. I've got like three cups of coffee. What's your go-to kind of comfort meal makes you happy during camp? Because I also hated camp oh, as a player. Camp. Right, during camp, yeah. All right, so our dining hall, feel me, each day they like to mix it up. So for me, I love it when they had their chicken out, they big chicken. Or the stir fry, I love that, stir and fry. I always end off every meal with some cinnamon toast crunch. <laughs> there we go. I yeah. like that. Like, bold, bold that. move. Bold move. What about you? Uh, <laughs> you can't go wrong with the stir fry, but I usually I like the hamburgers too. Nice, I like it. I like it. We got some some honest stands. The oh, yeah. some old yeah. up here. We're really pumping the dining hall. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, we are. What about you, coach? Do you get to eat it all? I, I find a way. Yes. I find yeah. a way. Um, you know, the coaches make fun of me because I kind of just pile it all in there. So I'll still do the the true comfort food, pasta, uh, whatever the meat is for that nice. day. I love stir fry. Like my my meal. You know, before it all happens, is Chinese food. Mm -hmm. I love Chinese well, food. It's my favorite. Go. I shouldn't say that on camera, but yeah. <laughs> I do like it. So that's all right. Coach, schedule has always been challenging here the past few years. You, uh, couldn't, once again, a, a pair of FBS teams. Yep. You're playing Colgate, who had a phenomenal year last year. Uh, just talk about the schedule, how you guys are getting ready for it, and, and how, it, how a non-conference schedule like that gets you ready for the grind of the CA schedule. That's just kind of how it is up here. You know, our guys are used to it. Uh, we use it as a recruiting tool as well. You, know, you get a lot of games that you've played in at the FBS le level. I look at these two guys, they've played in a number of them. And yeah. So to me, it's, it's a challenge, certainly. We are fortunate to win one last year, mm -hmm. um, which is always a challenge. But we have two more, and they're great opponents. But we feel pretty 
confident in what we're doing. We have two uh, non-conference opponents that won their league, and mm -hmm. that's just how it seems to work up here. So <laughs> for us, it's a it's a challenging schedule in the CA. But yep. again, uh, our players are what make me what makes me confident and make me feel comfortable because they love football and they love competing. And at the end of the day, that's what really matters. Well, guys, congratulations once again on last year's success. Good luck going into 2019, and thank you for joining us on the set. Thanks a lot. Have hey. a great year. Thanks for having us. Hey, appreciate it. All right. Well, the Eli